but this is our final half scene. I didn't go outside yesterday and celebrate the new year. On March 20th, it is the new year. It is Nowruz, which is the new year for Iran and a few other countries um, like Tajikistan, Turkey, and more. And um, for those who are not aware, I am a Persian sister. I am from Iran. In my Eternal Sunshine reaction video, a few people were assuming that I was Arab. Uh, I am not, I'm Persian, but I live in Dubai. I don't speak Arabic, um, I should, considering I'm born and raised here. I don't um, understand it, but I know the basics to get me by. And if I'm sitting with people having a conversation, I do usually understand what they're saying. Our language uh, for Persians is Farsi, but we're all brothers and sisters, you know? Anyway, so today is our new year. It's called Nowruz, which just means new day. It's the first day of the spring. And we usually have this thing called half scene, which is a setup that has seven things starting with the letter S. We have Sombol, Sekis, Samanu, Soma, all of these things. And they all represent different thingies. Life, wealth, health. And so we set that up a few days before Nowruz. We have family over, we have friends over, we have lunch, dinner, we play music, we sometimes dance if there's a lot of people, if there's not a lot of people, we don't dance. Um, but it's like a whole thing. We didn't do the countdown this year because it was at like 6.30 a.m. We were all just asleep. We're like, we'll wish each other in the morning. So this year, Nowruz falls in Ramadan. So my mom and I are both fasting today. So my mom decided that she'll just do the whole thing post iftar. So we're gonna have like a no ruse iftar and celebrate the new year. I'm gonna show you the half scene and how my mom and I decorated it. My dad will be a better person to explain everything. So this is the table we're working with. We use this one every single year. The mirror is already there. This is everything else that I'm gonna get on that. Yeah, some people put Hoppers, some people put the bottom, some people put the leaves, the hoppers will be on this side. Um, this, we have two matzah candles. This is a cute little flower decor that my mom and I put together. It doesn't represent anything, it doesn't have to be there. We just did it for fun and for aesthetics. There is salt in here, and there is um, kidney beans in here. This is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna continue coming all the way till here. My mom and I decided to have a pearl theme this year, and for all the different items, we added pearls. We did it ourselves. For example, I did this one, my mommy did that one, and it just continues. And then even for what I call grass, <laughs> Even for these, we added some pearls as well. So it's like a cute little theme. Maha actually did this one. I did that one. Usually, you're supposed to put a goldfish but my mom doesn't like the idea of just putting a goldfish in a bowl and she feels bad because it just dies really quickly. So she put water with these flowers and an apple. Some more apples. I feel like we can bring these to the front and then put these in the back. How's that? Cute. Then we have sweets, and finally the last thing is a clock. Okay, so I brought my dad so he can explain. In Nowruz, we yeah. have seen. Yes. Have seen means half is seven. Sin is S. We start from Sin. Uh -huh. So this is Somak. This is Sabze. This is Sanjet. This is Sib. This is Seke. This is Sir and this is Sombol. 
Once we finish winter, this is what we do and we uh, enter to our new year, which is 1403, today at 6.30 a.m. Time is not regular, it always changes. It's not like 12 a.m. like no, New Year's no, is no, every no. We have our own time. Yeah. And this is it. Thanks, Dad. So that's our final table. But this is our final half scene. Yesterday was Chashama Suri, which is the last Tuesday of the year. And usually people go and they jump over bonfires and stuff like that. I usually don't go out for Chashama Suri. Usually I spend it with my mom and dad and we just jump over like a smaller fire. But I completely missed it yesterday. I forgot I was with Mahani Spain. So my brother today made me jump over a candle. Do you want to explain to my vlog what Chashama Suri is? So according to the Zoroastrian uh, religion and our culture, we chant. Oh, with the Sorghia. Zadiyaman. Oh, Zadiyaman as to. Beto. Beto. Okay. Zadiyaman Beto. Zadiyaman Beto. Sorghia to Beman. They're yellow from me Literally And the, the red transition. from you So the yellow being the sickness and all the challenges and everything Of you to the fire and all the red being the spice <laughs> Oh my god um, The heat and the usually, earth and everything yeah. Oh. You just ruined your head Usually people do um, Actual fires Like bonfires But Trust you, I didn't just go just outside you. yesterday so this is a last minute one for me. Why is it so? I'm gonna do it again. Zadiman as to? Zadiman beto. Beto. Zadiman beto. Sorrieto beman. Yes. That's it. Oh, thanks. Oh, your Jesus Christ. Shall I tell you, Daddy? Yeah, it's time. I'm the other way. I'm the other way. I'm the other way. I'm the other way. I'm the I'm the other way. I'm the other way. I'm the other I'm the other way. I'm just because we are taking pictures today, we're all trying to be cute and stuff and... So this is a spray I use, by the way, in case anyone has the same issue as me. It's called Topic or Topic Root Touch-Up Spray Dark Brown. So this is she. Um, love her. She's so easy to use. I'll show you now. Okay, so you see? Crazy, right? I hold my hair down. There's so many whites and I... Ta-da! Look at that! I don't use this all the time when my roots are out. I only use it if like my roots are out and I'm going to an event or I have something like this going on. But on a daily, I just let my roots live their lives. I like to go very light on the spray because it can go crazy suddenly. If you're wondering, it does transfer on your pillow. So I would say to watch out for that. I have stained, not stained, I've dirtied a lot of pillows. You just wash them, it goes away. And then you're left with all of this gunk, but I'll just wash my hands and that's it. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for joining me on the new year. For me, the regular new year, like January 1st, I do feel it, I feel like a change and all of that, but then with the Persian New Year, I feel more of like the family element and the start of spring and all of that. It feels really cool to be able to celebrate both and have two New Years in a year. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go do the things I need to do. We have a lot of preparations, a lot of people are coming over and my mom needs my help. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending the start of the New Year with me. And I'll see you in the next vlog on Thursday. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. See you.